Is sterilisation the best long-term contraception? Well, once you've decided that your family is complete or you have decided that having kids is just not for you, you might be looking for a more permanent, reliable choice of contraception. So, sterilisation, let's talk about it. I'm Brooke, a gynaecology doctor, and I'm here to talk you through the options of both male and female sterilisation and the pros and cons of these choices. So what do we actually mean by sterilisation? Well, sterilisation is a permanent method of contraception for people who don't want more children or any children in the first place, and it works by stopping the sperm from meeting the egg. There's different forms of sterilisation and they involve a type of surgical procedure. Now, whilst you may hear stories of sterilisation being reversed, it's not reliable for either male or female sterilization. So these choices should be considered permanent. You should never go ahead if you still want the option of conceiving again in the future. So how effective is sterilization? Well, vasectomy, male sterilization, and tubular occlusion, female sterilization, are both over 99% effective at preventing pregnancy. So this is fab, but remember that 1% is not nothing. Also the same effectiveness as other choices of reversible contraception, such as the coils, and the implant is actually even more effective than sterilization. So why choose sterilization? The implant at 99.9% effective is actually even more effective than sterilization at preventing a pregnancy. So why choose sterilization? Well, the major benefit is that after going ahead with either, if it's successful, you don't have to think about contraception again. Obviously you wouldn't be protected against STIs, so condoms are still recommended if you've got new partners. But you don't have to worry about remembering to take a pill every day. Female sterilization is done by cutting, sealing, or blocking the fallopian tubes, which carry an egg from the ovary to the uterus, the womb. What's the procedure? Well, the fallopian tubes are blocked by either applying clips or rings, sealing, tying, cutting, and removing a small piece of each tube. There's two ways of reaching the fallopian tubes, by a laparoscopy, so keyhole surgery, or by a mini laparotomy. Now, these are usually done under general anaesthetic. During a caesarean, sterilization can actually be carried out after the uterus has been closed, but at the same time, to avoid the need for another surgery in the future. If you do want to choose this option, make sure that you mention it to your medical team during your pregnancy so that they can give you all the information and ensure that you're certain that you want to go ahead. They'll usually be asked to your choice about three times in pregnancy before they will add it to the schedule. Now, sterilization doesn't affect periods or cause you to go into menopause because the ovaries are left in place so they can continue to produce estrogen. This means you will continue to have periods. What are the after effects? Well, as you require general anaesthetic, you can feel a bit groggy for a few days after, and you might have some abdominal pain or light bleeding for a few days. Other risks of the operation include bleeding into the tummy, infection, and damage to the other local organs, like your bladder and your bowel. The main disadvantage of female sterilization is that if that contraception fails, one in a hundred, and you become pregnant, it's more likely to be an ectopic pregnancy. So you'll need to use contraception until your operation and for at least seven days afterwards. It's important to know that female sterilization is almost certainly permanent. Therefore, if you change your mind about future pregnancies, your only option to conceive would be via IVF. Other good long acting contraceptive choices with similar failure rates include the contraceptive coils. And I made a previous YouTube video that's a deep dive into which coils you can choose. A male sterilization, vasectomy. This involves cutting the tubes of the vas deferens that carries sperm out of the testicles. It's the most effective method of male sterilization, more than 99% effective, but it should still be regarded as irreversible. The procedure can be performed under a local anaesthetic and it only takes about 20 minutes. That local anaesthetic can feel a bit like a bee sting when injected and a small cut will be made in the scrotum over the tube and that tube will be cut and then sealed with stitches or clips. There can be a bit of burning and the skin cut will be closed and it's then repeated on the other side. You can go home and then you should usually rest for a few days afterwards. There are some after effects. You can get some mild bruising or swelling is quite common and there is a small risk of infection. You might notice blood in the semen for the first few ejaculates after a vasectomy. There's a very small chance, one in 250, that the procedure won't work, and an even smaller chance of late failure where the tubes actually rejoin together after the initial negative sperm test. That's one in 2,000. Up to 15% of men do report troublesome chronic testicular pain, which can be severe enough to affect day-to-day -day activities in up to 5% of people. There's no evidence it causes any long-term health risks for having a vasectomy, and it doesn't affect your sex drive, ability to get an erection or ability to ejaculate. How do I know if it's worked? Well, you will not be sterile immediately and you'll need to continue to use alternative contraception after a vasectomy until you've been given the all clear from your post-op semen tests. So these are done after 12 weeks and over 20 ejaculations. Sperm further down the tubes needs to be cleared. Now, if no sperm are seen at 12 weeks, then you may be given the all clear that you are sterile. If there are still sperm present, then you'll need to produce a further sample a few weeks later to check again. Now, 
Generally, if a couple is certain that they don't want any more children and they would like to avoid the need to continue using contraception, then male sterilization or vasectomy is the method of choice. And this is because the procedures have similar failure rate, but with the vasectomy, the male version, there is no risk of ectopic pregnancy and there's less surgical risks. Additionally, a vasectomy is considered a less risky procedure. If you're already having a gynecological surgical procedure, such as a C-section or a laparoscopy, sterilization can sometimes be performed at the same time, but otherwise, the surgery is being performed for sterilization alone, it is considered more risky than some of the other contraceptive options, which have equal efficacy. Now, is this something that you're considering? If you've got any questions, leave a comment below.